I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about pediatric skin disorders. Now, obviously, there are an awful lot of pediatric skin disorders, and we're not going to get to all of them today. However, I do want to talk about a few of the most common things you might see. The first one occurs right after your baby's born and lasts for the first few weeks of life. If you see little ant bite looking lesions on his or her skin, we call that erythema toxicum. It's the worst name for the most benign condition in all of pediatrics. This is nothing to worry about. It will go away. If on the other hand you see those things break open or they appear to be filled with pus, that is not the same thing. That could be a really serious skin infection and you need to get your doctor to look at it. Shortly after that, we see neonatal acne, which are bumps in the same distribution as regular acne, usually on the face, the cheeks, sometimes on the chest and the back. That results from mother's hormones and that goes away as the child gets older. You rarely need to do anything about it. Next, we tend to see eczema. Eczema often starts in the first several weeks of life and gets really bad during the toddler years. Many children get better as they get older from their eczema, but some people keep it all their lives. Eczema is a form of allergy. You might see scaling in patches or in lines. It's particularly bad right here at the crooks of the arms and behind the knees, and in newborn babies, again across the face, neck, and ears. Eczema is treated with a combination of skin moisturizers and anti-allergy agents, sometimes with steroids that can be applied to the skin, or another group of medications that includes Elodel and Protopic. If you think your child has serious eczema, you should ask your doctor about it. The last thing we see a lot of now are skin infections, most often with methicillin-resistant Staph aureus. These are really serious and usually only respond to being opened up or to getting antibiotics or often to both. So if you see something that looks like a spider bite on your child and you don't see a spider on your child, think hard about a staph boil or pustule. That really should be brought to your doctor's attention because you're going to need your doctor's help often in making it go away. So talking about erythema toxicum in newborns, eczema in relatively young children, neonatal acne, in children between birth and several weeks to a couple of months old, and meth, methicillin resistant staph aureus skin lesions in young and older children. I'm Dr. David Hill.